السلام علیکم جی آج بات کریں گے پوسٹ نائنٹین نائنٹی ٹو ورلڈ کپ زمانے کی اور بڑا ہی ایک ایکسائٹمنٹ والا زمانہ تھا پاکستان کرکٹ میں اور کانٹروورشل بھی رہا ایکسائٹمنٹ اس لحاظ سے کہ دا ٹو ڈبلیوز ور اسٹارٹنگ ٹو ڈومینیٹ دا ورلڈ آف کرکٹ اور دو ایکسائٹنگ پاکستان کے پاس اوپنرز آ گئے تھے سعید انور اور عامر سہیل مڈل آڈر میں پاکستان ہیڈ انضمام الحق ہو اسٹارٹنگ ٹو شائن باسط علی ڈیبیوڈ اراؤنڈ دیٹ ٹائم اور پیپل ور ویری ہوپ فل دیٹ ہی از گوئنگ ٹو بی دا نیکسٹ جاوید میاں داد وکٹ کیپنگ میں معین خان اور راشد لطیف کا ایک بڑا انٹرسٹنگ قسم کا ایک ہیلتھی کمپٹیشن چل رہا تھا اور اسپننگ ڈپارٹمنٹ میں سکلائن مشتاق واز امرجنگ اینڈ چیلنجنگ مشتاق احمد این ہز پوزیشن تو کانٹروورشل اس لحاظ سے تھا وہ زمانہ کہ ان فائٹنگ پاکستان ٹیم میں بڑی ہو رہی تھی ایک کٹ تھروٹ قسم کی انوائرمنٹ تھی اسپیشلی فار دا کیپٹنسی تو عمران خان جب ریٹائر ہوئے آفٹر نائن ٹو ورلڈ کپ تو نیچرلی کیپٹنسی جو تھی وہ جاوید نی آزاد کے پاس گئی اور جاوید نی آزاد نے پاکستان کو لیڈ کیا انگلینڈ میں بیک ان دا سمر آف نائنٹی ٹو and we won that uh, five test match series uh, 2-1 against uh, uh, England and then after that in December there was a big tour of Pakistan ka banta tha, uh, Australia and New Zealand ka, jis mein Pakistan ne against Australia and West Indies uh, tri-series you will remember uh, Benson and Hedges tri-series Pakistan didn't play and uh, Pakistan started that uh, series uh, well uh, West Indies ko Pakistan had the game in the second game mujhe yaad hai. Uh, Pakistan uh, tied that game against uh, uh, Australia Asif Mushtaba uh, he hit a uh, famous last ball six against Tivo uh, to tie that game uh, but after the game Pakistan performance went downhill Uh, especially against West Indies, Pakistan had a mental block in Pakistan. Pakistan had a batting, especially in Pakistan, but West Indies had against collapse. I remember that there was a game in which Pakistan batting just collapsed uh, in, uh, against uh, uh, very mediocre Phil Simmons. Pakistan had Phil Simmons made a hawa. In 80-81 runs, Pakistan's batting collapsed. In another game against uh, West Indies, Pakistan's batting collapsed in 71. تو ایک ایک ڈاؤن ہل پرفارمنس پاکستان کی اسٹارٹ ہو گئی تھی ان دیٹ سیریز اب ایک اسٹرینج بریک آیا تھا آفٹر فائیو گیمز پاکستان نیوزی لینڈ چلی گئی وہاں پر پاکستان نے تین گیمز کی ایک او ڈی آئی سیریز کھیلنی تھی اور پھر ایک سالٹری ون ٹیسٹ میچ پاکستان نے نیوزی لینڈ کے گیمز کھیلنا تھا تو نیوزی لینڈ پاکستان گئی وہاں پر پاکستان نے پہلا ٹیسٹ ون ڈے جیتا لیکن پھر اس کے بعد نیکسٹ ٹو ون ڈے گیمز تھے پاکستان بڑا مزریبلی پاکستان ہارا تو وہ سیریز پاکستان ون ڈے کی ٹو زیرو سے ٹو ون سے ہارا اور پھر پاکستان نے ون سالٹری ٹیسٹ میچ کھیلنا تھا ہیملٹن میں اور اس کے بعد پاکستان آسٹریلیا دوبارہ گیا ٹو ریزیوم دیٹ ٹرائی سیریز اور نیو دلس پاکستان نے اس ٹرائی سیریز میں اچھا نہیں کھیلا صرف پاکستان نے اوور آل صرف وی ون اونلی ون گیم اینڈ دیر واز ون ٹائرڈ گیم دا لاسٹ سکس گیمز پاکستان ور بیٹ ان مزریبلی اگینسٹ آسٹریلیا اینڈ ویسٹ انڈیز تو بہینڈ دا سین جو تھا پاکستان کا ایک کانٹروورسی بھی چل رہی تھی بہینڈ دا سین دیر واز ریوالٹ لیڈ بائی وسیم اکرم ایٹ دیٹ ٹائم اگینسٹ دین کیپٹن جاوید نی اداد تو ایٹ دا اینڈ آف دیٹ ٹور پی سی بی ڈسائڈ ٹو ریپلیس می اداد اینڈ اپوائنٹ وسیم اکرم از دا نیکسٹ کیپٹن تو مجھے یاد ہے بڑی ایکسائٹمنٹ تھی سب ایکسپیکٹ کر رہے تھے کہ وسیم اکرم از گوئنگ ٹو لیڈ دا سائڈ جسٹ لائک عمران خان یوز ٹو لیڈ دا سائڈ پاکستان ویسٹ انڈیز کے ٹور پر گیا مارچ آف نائنٹین نائنٹی تھری اور جیاد باسطلی ڈیبیو کر رہے تھے ہی ہیر اے ویری امپریسو ڈیبیو اگینسٹ ویسٹ انڈیز او ڈی آئی سیریز پاکستان کی تھی اگینسٹ ویسٹ انڈیز پاکستان ٹائر دیٹ سیریز اگینسٹ او ڈی آئی اگینسٹ ویسٹ انڈیز ٹو ٹو اور پھر اس کے بعد ٹیسٹ سیریز میں پاکستان ڈڈ ناٹ پرفارم ویل پاکستان لاس دا ٹیسٹ میچ سیریز اگینسٹ ویسٹ انڈیز ٹو زیرو کانٹروورسی اس ٹور میں مجھے یاد ہوئی تھی وسیم اکرم وقار یونس جاوید اور عاقب جاوید اور مشتاق احمد دے ور کاٹ اینڈ دے ور اریسٹڈ ایٹ دا بیچ پوزیسنگ میروانا اور نیور دا لیس بہینڈ دا سین کانٹروورسیز چل رہی تھیں دے واز انادر ریوالڈ دس ٹائم اگینسٹ وسیم اکرم اٹ واز لیڈ بائی وقار یونس اور وسیم اکرم کو پھر ریپلیس کیا گیا اور سلیم ملک کو کیپٹن بنایا گیا سلیم ملک پھر کیپٹنسی سے ہٹے رمیز راجہ کیپٹن بنے اور پھر رمیز راجہ کے بعد دوبارہ ان نائنٹی فائیو لیٹ نائنٹی فائیو وسیم اکرم واز تو ایک بڑا ہی ڈرامیٹک قسم کا ایک گیم آف تھونس 
ٹائپ کی انوائرمنٹ تھی پاکستان کرکٹ ٹیم میں فار دا پوسٹ آف کیپٹن سی تو اگین گوئنگ بیک ٹو دیٹ نائنٹی تھری نائنٹی ٹو نائنٹی تھری ٹور ہیملٹن ٹیسٹ میچ جو میں ذکر کر رہا تھا کہ پاکستان نیوزی لینڈ گئی تھی اور پاکستان نے ایک ون سالٹری ٹیسٹ میچ کھیلا تھا اگینسٹ نیوزی لینڈ آلریڈی پاکستان کی ون ڈے گیمز میں پرفارمنس بلو پار تھی فینس ور ڈیجیکٹیڈ پلیئرز ور آلسو ڈیمورالائزڈ تو ان دیٹ انوائرمنٹ بہینڈ دا سین ایک کانٹروورسی چل رہی تھی وسیم اکرم لیٹ ریوولٹ ہونے والا تھا تو بہینڈ دا سین یہ سب کچھ چل رہا تھا تو پاکستان ہیملٹن ٹیسٹ میچ کھیلتا ہے فرسٹ اننگز میں پاکستان نے کوئی دو سو پندرہ سولہ رن کیے نیوزی لینڈ کے ایم دیز کو ٹو سکسٹی پلس رنز کوئی تقریباً اڑتالیس پچاس رن کی نیوزی لینڈ کو لیڈ تھی پاکستان نے سیکنڈ اننگز میں کوئی ون سیونٹی پلس رنز کیے تھے ڈس اپوائنڈنگ پرفارمنس تھی بیٹنگ میں تو پاکستان نے کوئی ون ہنڈریڈ ٹوئنٹی سیون رنز کا ٹارگیٹ دیا تھا نیوزی لینڈ کو ٹو چیز تو اس گیم کی اس لاسٹ اننگز کی میں ہائی لائٹس پوسٹ کر رہا ہوں میں ویسٹ انڈی نیوزی لینڈ نیڈنگ ون ٹوئنٹی سیون رنس ٹو وین اور ہوپ فلی یو ول انجوائے دا ہائی لائٹس تو ان شاء اللہ پھر نیکسٹ ٹائم بات ہوگی Amir Sahail takes an easy catch at second slip up was in Akram and Mark Greatbatch on his way. Yes, well, both openers have been subjected, uh, subjected to a lot of short pitch bowling and uh, on this occasion Mark Greatbatch got another one squared up a little bit there, just didn't really know where it went, climbed on him a little bit too quickly there and that's a very simple catch, very important breakthrough for Pakistan. And it's 19 for one. So Andrew Jones on his way and he's there because Mark Greatbatch just been dismissed 133 in the first innings eight in the second yes that's that's a difficult ball to play and uh unfortunately mark great batches uh game is now over magnificent first inning century battled hard again in the second innings here but uh on this occasion just hasn't quite gone through with it simple catch there to sahail he's delighted no doubt akram is as well and that could just put up a partnership in line <laughs> There's a loud appeal. Blair Hartland's indicating that it came from the elbow. There's a bit of... Uh, well, Amir Sahail is not at all impressed. Javed Meandad is reorganising things out there. He's sending Wazim Akram back. That'll be very interesting to have another look. Blair Hartland indicated that it came from the elbow. The Pakistanis are not happy, but uh, Javed Meandad has settled things down. Wide of the stumps, just gets it on the forehand, forearm, and uh, yeah, well, that shows fairly clearly that it's not out. Well, he took a base of action again. like a full toss got through and the off stump has been disturbed Blair Hartland is out and New Zealand are 31 for two well the tactic worked you see Blair Hartland missing a full toss and uh, that was through a bit of pace the Blair Hartland playing from the crease he'd been peppered with some short deliveries he always puts the bats on the back foot and the uh, ball goes uh, through the defences of Blair Hartman. So he's out for eight, New Zealand are 31 for two. You see Blair Hartman missing that uh, full toss in a way, and uh, that goes the off stump. This uh, Blair Hartman was, uh, in a way I suppose, rattled after those short deliveries, looked a bit out of poise at the end. Watchman is out. Danny Morrison stands there. Can't believe the decision, but he's gone nonetheless. 32 for three. Well, another LBW decision. And uh, he didn't get the bet on that. It was definitely out. Brian Aldrich didn't think so, and that's all that matters. Third wicket for... Wasi Makram and New Zealand 32 for three. Man Andrew Jones, a key player. Oh, he's caught! Good 
goodness me, what a catch. That was an incredible catch. It just flew, and it was a real reflex action. Well, an unbelievable catch. Andrew Jones hit that right in the meat of the bat, and Mushtaba was quick enough to hold on to that sharp chance at short forward square. And really, as you're saying, John, New Zealand looking really good, but that blow has just struck at the wrong time. So New Zealand lose Andrew Jones 65 for four. Well, Rod Latham coming out to take the place of Andrew Jones, and goodness me, that was an incredible catch. Mushtaba had a lot of trouble getting that name out, Jeff. No, you certainly did. Uh, tell you what, that was uh, real reflexes, that one. And you've got to say, Andrew Jones is very stiff, really. I mean, most times, I'd say oh. 99 times out of 100, that certainly would not have been caught, and it would have been runs. Well, exactly, Jeff. Well, that was right off the middle of the bat. He clipped it away, and how he picked it up, it, it wasn't straight into the stomach either. Sometimes you can sort of fold over and pick those ones up with a bit of luck, but he caught it cleanly in two hands. Yeah, right. So, first ball for Rod Latham. Facing Waka Yunus. Oh, it's hit on the pad. That's run past the keeper and down for a bye. He's looking for a second, but he won't get it. I think the appeal was a bit ambitious. Okay. Really ambitious sort of a shot. There's a bit of uh, misunderstanding between the batsmen. Adam Ferrari was keen on the idea of a run, but Rod Latham said no. The ball moving in the air from Wakar and Rod Latham going to play off the back foot, as you say, a bit ambitious. In fact, uh, that was a chance. Yeah, that, that didn't hit the ground, did it? No, exactly. It oh, it. There's no move from the umpire, but Adam Perori is departing, so there's no question about it. He got an edge, and it's gone through to the keeper, Rashid. So New Zealand in further trouble. They've lost their fifth wicket. This man, Perori, the keeper, on his way. There's this one up from wide of off stump, but the angle's pretty good there. And Perori playing with an open face bat there, trying to run it down through the gully, gets an edge. Through the gully, gets an edge. And it's taken by Rashid just above the ground. And uh, New Zealand lose their fifth wicket. So further trouble for New Zealand. Adam Perori on his way. 67 for five. All of a sudden we've got two men in on naught and uh, New Zealand 67 for five. Let's have another look at the Perori dismissal. Yes, Perori was playing pretty well. His technique was working and um, just see the Pakistani bowlers getting the ball to swing a bit more this morning. And there's Rashid taking that, ch that ca chance from Perori. Superb delivery, the middle stump uprooted. A big in swinging Yorker beats the bat of Rod Latham and New Zealand in further trouble. Well, what a magnificent delivery again from Waka Yunus. Look at that. Magnificent late in swinger. And the off, sorry, the middle peg is uh, uprooted. And they're delighted. And so they should be. Now the game is really uh, in the balance. Yeah, this is nerve-wracking stuff. Rod Latham on his way, 71 for six. Waka Yunus, what a deadly delivery that one was. It was his 99th wicket as well in Test cricket. Well, there's the replay, and Rod Latham is beaten for swing and pace. And, John, what a difference it is when the ball is moving in the air. I mean, how much more difficult is it at this sort of pace for oh, these yeah. men to play? That was a cracker. It just was so quick. Certainly, Rod Latham played it from the crease, as we see there. Uh, and I obviously feel the way to play would have been to get onto the front foot, but it's a very difficult situation when uh, you've got so much of Walker's base coming down at you, and, and we're only looking in, in the right techniques for saying that. But um, our, our uh, Bank of New Zealand stump vision, I don't think, is in great nick at the moment either, Jeff. He copped it full on there. Goodness. Yes, had he hit, I think Rutherford would have been shorter, right? Well, he's, got, he's gone. Rutherford is out. That is an excellent catch, and the New Zealand captain is gone, and New Zealand are 88 for seven. Good tactics there by Wazi Makram, uh, changing the trajectory of the deli that delivery. Uh, the ball pitched 
outside the office camp, moving away from Rutherford. Uh, he pays the price for fishing outside the office camp. It is that one in the second slip to Amish Sohel. The slip fielder who dropped two catches in the first innings. And so, Pakistan once again back in the driving seat. Still 39 runs away. And the captain is out. And here is the dismissal of Ken Rutherford. There is nibbling outside the stump. Goes wide off the right hand of Amish Sohal who dives. Takes it well. Both handed. Oh, we get to Yorker. So, Pakistan captain David Miadad has taken a big gamble, of course. Keeping these two on and has been rewarded. Nice bowling. Harris gets cleaned out. And New Zealand lose their eighth wicket at 88. 100 test wickets for Waka Yunus. And here is the price you pay playing off the back foot of a swinging delivery from a man who can bowl faster than anybody else 88 for 8 New Zealand and really this has been a superb exhibition of pace bowling by Waka Yunus and Wasim Akram here is Harris's a superb piece of bowling and that is Waka Yunus's 100th test victim Chris Harris and no wonder he is jubilant well controlled swinging delivery and forces Chris Harris on the back foot and LBW's out ninth wicket falls Murphy Sewer departs and it's 88 for 9 good delivery that one good length Mercy Sua uh, no clue about that steps in right in front of the wicket and Steve Dunn raises his finger. There was no doubt in his mind there. So the disasters continue for New Zealand, 88 for 9. But it's not this time. Waka Yunus has done it. And the test match is over with Deepak Patel, bowled by Waka Yunus for 4. Owens is not out, no score. So Pakistan have won this test match, this one-off test match. They've come from nowhere to win it on the last day, a day in which New Zealand started needing 88 runs, Pakistan seven wickets, and Pakistan have come through it, winning the test match by 33 runs, and a fantastic...